Apart from considerations of offensive and defensive competitive moves and their timing, another set of managerial decisions can affect the strength of a company's market position. These decisions concern the scope of operations. The scope of operation refers to the range of activities an organization performs internally, the breadth of its product and service offerings, the extent of its geographic market presence, and the mix of its businesses. Four dimensions of a firm's scope have the capacity to strengthen a company's position in the given market. First, the breadth of its product and service offerings. Second, the range of activities the firm performs internally. Third, the extent of its geographic market presence. And fourth, its mix of businesses. In this course, we discuss the horizontal and vertical scope decisions in relation to its breadth of offerings and range of internally performed activities. A company's horizontal scope, which is the range of product and service segments that it serves, can be expanded through new business development or mergers and acquisitions of other companies in the marketplace. The company's vertical scope is the extent to which it engages in the various activities that make up an industry's entire value chain system, from raw material or component production all the way to retailing and after-sale service. Expanding the company's vertical scope by means of vertical integration can also affect the strength of a company's market position. Strategic managers apply effective understanding of scope of operations in the development and execution of organizational strategy.